All right. Hello, everybody. It is time for the start of episode, what, 22 now? We are in the post game officially. Um, I leveled people back up, and, uh, I mean, I don't really know what to expect, but we won't spend the money quite yet on the, the library, because, I mean, we don't have reason to. Yeah, we've got a lot of achievements and all that good stuff. Um, so they told us to start at the bottom again, basically. So, I figure let's start at floor one and see if there's anything new. So, let's head in. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the, the, the right side of the screen and there's already something different. We've got a, a new rock. And I guess let's go check it out. Uh, can we even open it? First off, are the enemies any different? Like, let's 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 do that. No, the enemies are the same. Okay, fair enough. Let's get Cherno out of there. I don't know. Something like that'll work. So this is new. This wasn't here before, right? Only those who have formed a bond with 46 people may pass. Well, that's the, exactly the number that we have, so... What have we got here? That was, that was easier than I thought it would be. I guess let's try it out. Large, bottomless looking pit. Dive inside. Malicious womb as it watches you on your new journey. Huh. Check it out. Basement, one floor. Oh man! <laughs> I love it!
Okay, well, we've got a very new experience here. We've got rock. Okay, and what's this through? But, I mean, it's not blocking us from everything. It's just blocking us from that relay point. So we actually have something to explore here. Let's, let's look around a little. Okay, uh, this is looking a little rough. We got a treasure chest. Inside is a super sledge. That just ends. That just ends. There's literally nothing for us to do here, because, well, even at max level, we're not ready to take on that level 140 boss. New battle music. We got a Hell Kidama. New, new enemy. We're gonna need light type attacks, aren't we? Maybe Yugi? Level 162! This... this basic enemy might kill the team, for all I know. Uh, yeah, ow. It's got a ton of hit points, too. Look at that. This is... this is kind of ridiculous. Missed. That helps. Even doing weaknesses to it, we're having trouble actually doing significant damage to it. Might be able to take it on. Holy cow, that thing was nuts. Um, I mean, but we don't have anything else to explore on this level, so I guess I guess we gotta abandon the exploration here for the moment. Well, okay, fair enough. Let's, uh... Well, we're gonna have to... I mean, we used up... I, I guess we didn't lose up too much, but... Let's go to the second floor and see if there's anything there. And there may be more things that are new, so I'll... I'm gonna do some exploring of the, of the above-ground levels, and we'll see if there's anything new there. Um, and I will, uh... I will let you know if I find anything. Okay, I have gone up from floor 2 all the way up to floor 12, and I didn't find anything else interesting. This is the first thing that we found. I mean, we knew about these, um, but let's check them again. Only those who command the power of the divine, divine Sword may pass. It lets us through now, so we can actually explore more of level 12 now. But what? Well, there's an upward staircase there. Um, give me a second here. We're quite overpowered for these enemies now. So we've got an upward staircase there, and over here we've got what? It looks like we can get through all the rocks that say, you know, need the divine sword. Here we have a downward staircase. Okay. Well, let's try heading downstairs first. As you can see, we're here to the uh, south of um, the rest of level 11. We've got, amazingly, we've got a relay point here. Um, 
wow. So there's actually something to this. Let's see what the enemies are like. Are they the same as the regular level? Oh, look at that. Look at that. They are the same types of enemies, but look at their levels. Okay, we're going to start having uh, issues coming from here. Um, the strategies won't be any different. It's just going to be that we require significantly more uh, power in order to get stuff done. And the enemies are faster. Yay. Oof. Uh, eh, that still works. Yeah, so we've got tougher enemies to deal with and more level to explore. Oh, we got a rock. Four mysterious shadows. Okay, so, so we are seeing those mysterious shadows pop up again. So we're going to have to figure that one out. Um, Alright, I'm going to explore a bit. Uh, we'll see if there's anything else interesting on this in this area. And I'll let you know if I find anything. Oh, I was wrong. Look, there is a new type of enemy here, too. So we're, we're not only going to have higher level versions of those older enemies, but we're also going to get some new enemies, this Tornave Core. Let's see what this thing can do. Okay, as you can see, the enemies here are going to be a bit of a, a problem for us. In the sense that we're going to have to probably retreat pretty frequently in order to get our TP back. Look at what they did to poor Kassen. On the plus side, we got a treasure chest here. Inside is a tiny amount of cash that actually I don't really care that much about. Alright, I'm going to keep looking around. Okay, another treasure chest. Stone of Awakening. Hey! Nice. So we're down over here. You can see there's a whole chunk of this level that we just haven't seen. Like, and it's, it's a big chunk, too. And it's even it even takes longer to explore because it's so, like, lengthened out. So, anyway. Uh, I'm... I mean, a, a Stone of Awakening is a really good item, so that's, that's nice to see. That might even be our 12th one. I'm not sure. Okay, one more treasure chest. We're down here, way down in the southwest area. Inside, we've got a drum. All right, we lost Racing in the last fight, so we're gonna have to kick out before we get another encounter. But if we can do just a little bit more exploring. It might be worth it. Come on. All right, we'll kick out here. So this might be worth noting. Here I am, right here. You can see that there's no ways into this little void that's to my uh, south and to my east. But you can see what there are there. Well, there's a bunch of those green barriers. None of them are activated right now. And we have a down staircase, so maybe we have to come up from below. Anyway, as you can see, I'm gradually making my uh, way through this level, and we'll see what else is uh, around.
Okay, they gave us another rock. I don't know if this helps us at all. How can the seal be broken? Oh, it doesn't even give us a hint. As you can see, there's a, a relay point beyond it, but uh, yeah, we don't even know. We don't have to even have a hint on how to open that one. Weird. Okay, the game has another treasure chest in store for us. Come with insight attack. Very nice. Um, and then, other than that, this is a dead end. So we'll just keep moving. Okay, we got another rock here. All 12 mysterious shadows. Huh. Okay, another rock in our way. Two mysterious shadows. Okay, so they're gonna start having us fight these mysterious shadows. There are 12 of them, which leads me to believe Maybe they're the imposters? Like, our party is 12 people, right? And there are 12 mysterious shadows? So that would make sense, I guess. But I, I guess I don't know for sure. Um, but they're gonna make us take out, take them out one at a time, and then the more that we take out, the more things we can open. So that appears to be the, the plan going forward. Oh my goodness. Look at that! I just kind of headed west along the south end of the of this chunk of the level, and I found a blue button, which I have no idea why there's a blue button here. I haven't found any blue walls down here that I need to worry about. But, uh, yeah, this area is surprisingly large. And the enemies are surprisingly tough. Okay, looks like they're giving us another treasure chest over here. Inside we've got some cash. Total waste of time. Alright, whatever. Okay, we've got another treasure chest over here. Uh, inside is a wall breaker armband. So we're over here. You can see we're kind of, we went around to the south and now we're curling back into the north and to the east, so. Anyway, there's still a little bit more to explore, and we're going to keep going. There was a strange passage over here. Inside you can see there, or over here you can see that we've got a treasure chest, and inside is a wisdom gem. They've started dropping gems and stuff to us as a regular item drop rather than something super special. That's nice, it means that we can uh, build characters up a bit more, so, well, we'll just keep looking around. Phew, it took us a while to figure out our way over to this treasure chest, but we finally made it. Life gem, very nice. Buff somebody's hit points. I'm always in favor of that. And we've got just a little bit more to explore in this level. Although the shape of the level is not conducive to our exploration. No, actually, we got this. Boom. So this is interesting, right? This is very interesting. We can't get through any of the rocks. All of them require us to have knocked out a certain number of the, um, whatchamacallits, uh, shadows. And there's no additional... Well, there is an additional stairs down, but we can't reach it from here. So... I guess what we have to do is head back up to 12 and try that up staircase from the... from behind the rock. So we'll head over there and we'll see what's up there, too. Here we are on the 12th floor. We're gonna try these stairs. Okay, this puts us into the flame um, biome. It gives us a 
uh, relay point. And we're to the south of that level again, as you might have expected. So, I'm gonna start looking around and we'll see what is around in here. Okay, first find, right over here. Treasure chest, bam. Training manual, nothing too special yet, but uh, well, we'll see. So it's worth noting that the enemies up here are now approximately level 150 something, which is, um, it's likely that we aren't going to be able to take these guys on. Shadows. Okay, interesting. We've got a slightly different team here, so we're gonna have to be extra careful, but hopefully we can take these enemies out long enough. There's there's four rocks. There's two in the, the north chunk of this deeper bit of the level, and there's two in the south end. And I think we can open the ones in the south end. Let's take out this scarlet gold petal. Yeah. Okay, so you see, I think these two, the in, the in the north end of this area, we can't deal with. But the ones in the south, we might. So we're going to head to those and see what's there. Because why wouldn't we do that? The fastest way down there is this way. Over here. That's the wrong area. Goodness gracious. Another Twilight Magic Cannon, that's okay. Kasi can take them out. Very nice. Quick and easy. Actually, this level, we seem to be getting less experience in that uh, area of level 11, for instance. Um, for what it's worth. We can open this, and we can open this. So let's see what these, I guess let's check out level 21. No story, but lots of rocks. The newborn sun that illuminates golden madness above ground must be overthrown. Well, we haven't done that. The dreadful, dreadful sphere that fills the universe must be overthrown. Yikes. I don't like the names of these bosses. The guardian that governs earthly attributes. Oh, come on. The devil that swallows whole the desires of man. They have those light novel names. Oh man, we can't do anything here either. Really? the most ridiculous. Let's try that one over in the, the north. Uh, over here. I can get over there. Probably get into a fight. That's alright. I tried to bring in the, the uh, Moria Shrine people, but it didn't do much. She can't damage anything. There we go. Good enough. So if we go up here, what does this one say? Oh no, this one lets us through. Okay, weird. 
46 people, okay. So where does this lead us? It leads us to a... Oh, there's a red exclamation point. Hold on, let's... Just give me just a second, I'm gonna... You know, deal with that. Okay, what have we got here? Red exclamation point. An optional red exclamation point. Let's check it out. There's a tunnel. What? Why... Why bother doing that? Okay, we got a level 115 boss. That one we might actually be able to take on, huh? So... Interesting. What's our current level average level? 121? That means we would need to leave the dungeon. Okay, let's leave the dungeon. Give me just a second, I'll level us to 115 properly and we'll at least see what this boss is. Alright, here we are. We'll take this tunnel. I was hoping for some story stuff, and we'll check this boss out. As you can see, average level 114. Kaneko and Suiko can't make it to 115 quite yet. That's okay. We're gonna get our butts kicked, I'm sure. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is odd. It appears to be a boss rush. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so it doesn't end the battle when you beat one. It just spawns the next one. So we'll keep going.
Well, that's odd. It didn't include the sword, um, but it included everything up to the sword. That's very interesting. Yet we needed the sword to get to it. It's very strange. Very, very strange. Huh. Very weird. Oh, it gave us a new weapon, or a new sub-equipment. Great Questions Mask. Something we've never seen before. <laughs> the Great Tree has changed upon conquering the boss rush. Stronger versions of these bosses have respawned. Weird. This is bizarre. But we get an achievement. We get some cash. Let's see. What do we got here? Clear the boss rush. Goodbye once more. Very cool. So, I mean, I guess let's head to floor one. And the boss should be back, right? game. Level 4 enormous wasps. Swat them down. But like... Yeah, now this boss is level 112. Interesting. And it's gonna be that little... That little, uh... Hold on, let's... Let's try it. Uh, we'll just level unify at 12. And we'll head up there. Should be... I mean, it might be doable. Who knows? This team is not, like, optimized, but the bosses aren't optimized either. That's the, that's the point, right? So we've got the Malignant Eater's Shadow. Oh, are these the shadows? Is that what happened here? We've got to deal with these guys one at a time now at higher levels? Okay, this might be cool. Let's, uh, let's try this fight out.
Okay, cool. We can't even damage them. Huh. Wow, that was rough. Let's try one more time. We'll see if we can boost Kassen up before it gets a move. Yeah, even Kassen boost with significant... Holy cow. Cool. Yeah, alright. Well... That is definitely new. Okay, well it looks like we have some, uh... Some more work to do, some thinking to do. Oh, actually, let's... Last, 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 last thing to check. Did they bring the sword back at a higher level? They did not. So Swordy McSwordenface is still here at level 100. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll have uh, a little bit more to do here then. Gotta figure out how to beat those... Uh... I mean, we should have information about the boss, right? And it should be in the old bestiary. I just go up here. Level 4. Weak to fire, weak to physical, weak to poison, weak to terror, weak to debuff. But I guess the Malignant Eater's Shadow might be weak, um, might not be that. 1.28 million hit points. That's crazy. Um, okay. Well, that's, that's, that's all, that's all very interesting. I guess I didn't count any of the, I guess, so, so we've been fighting a lot of bosses that were just characters that we got. So they didn't, they didn't give us those. They didn't give us Alice's remote dolls and all that stuff. So, for what it's worth, we now have to take on a Malignant Ear Shadow. <laughs> and I have no idea how to do it. Not at this point. So, I'll try to figure something out and we'll see what is next. I, um, so I haven't, haven't actually tried seriously to take on that, uh, boss over on level 1 yet, but I figured it would be worth going over here to level 3 and checking this out. Check this guy out. So he's level 116, so it looks like they're going to be gradually upping the levels of the bosses that we have to take out, the new, sh the new shadows. So I just wanted to kind of showcase that a little bit. And where would be another place where there might be a boss? Floor four? No, this is a fight with a... No, there is one over there, you see? Hold on, let's go check it out. Not there. Super easy enemies, nothing to worry about. Probably we're gonna run a run up to level 20. Fight those like mini boss style enemies, the you know, fake fake FOEs, because they are probably the best source of experience and cash for us. This is level 118. So they're going up in levels, but they're not going up in levels as you know rapidly as they did before. Let's <clears throat> let's check this out. Yeah, so see, like this guy was like a level 90 something boss. Um Oh look, they're in reverse order now. Like this one was 87 before, and the other one across the way was 80, 88, I think. <clears throat> but now it's 134, 136. But okay, so it's not going up as crazily fast as as it could, right? It's just going up a little bit at a time. But we're gonna have to, you know, put together new strategies for each one of these boss fights, which is gonna mean probably building up a couple of characters that we haven't used much either, because like. My current party right now has no fire capability, for instance, and I guess Hina uses fire slightly, but that's it. Um, and we need more than that. So my plan is to take these out one at a time, um, probably do a couple per episode uh, ongoing for the next bit, 
as well as any exploring that needs to be done or, or can be done. Um, I checked the number of achievements we have and we're up at like 79, maybe 80. So uh, we still have a ways to go before we can open up the next rock that is based on achievement number, which I think was at 88. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show that off. I wanted to confirm this for myself because I wasn't sure. Because if this was going to be like 112 plus 90, I was going to freak out. But it's not, apparently, which is good. Um, but we are still going to need to do some, some level building for each of these fights and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to get started working on that. A goal for the goal to finish this episode is we're going to take out that first boss. That one that is level 112 on, on uh, floor number one. But I'm probably going to need... But as we... I think I showed this before. Not you. It was, uh... If if this is a good sign, like a like a good, no, it's 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 because he's got more strengths. The, the shadow has more strengths than than this. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do some some recon, basically send some people in with different attacks to check this guy out. And he's really fast. The, the shadow is. Uh, so we're gonna figure out what he's weak against and uh, make some plans for that fight. And my goal is to. Uh, get that all set up, and the next thing we'll see is the successful battle with the Malignant Eater. So, uh, I will uh, cut here, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see the next interesting thing that happens. There's always a possibility that I'll get some achievements or something on the way. But anyway, see you in a minute.
Okay. First one down. Whew. There's no story bits or anything anymore for this. So I'll just go right into checking our status. Um, the trick was, as far as I can tell, just using Yugi and then um, her um, Yugi's KO in three steps can take out the main boss in like two or three hits with the right equipment and the right bonuses. And the trick is, if you can set it up so that Aya has a turn right after Yugi uses that 100% delay attack, Aya can bring her back to 100% to give her initiative again. So that's kind of how that fight went. Then Yugi, basically Yugi's regular attacks have enough power to knock out the, the um, guys around. So let's go through this real quick and um, uh, we'll see, you'll, you can see what I did to get here. And I didn't do much grinding actually. So that's our team, that's what we had, that's what we had equipped. Um, you may note that I have the Super Sledge on Yugi. That is not the item that I thought it was. So when I saw Super Sledge, I thought she was talking, I thought the game was talking about the Great Hammer, which is that. No, 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 no. The Super Sledge is like a double Cinderforge sword without the extra bonuses of the Cinderforge sword. The Super Sledge, of course, is a Fallout reference. And then we have the Great Questions Mask, which I got, um, but, uh, but I didn't equip until just now, or just, you know, when I tried start starting this fight. So that's kind of the, that's kind of where we're at here. Um, I used, so, I used Suiko with a reflex booster and her reflex, her evade boosting abilities. I used Moko and Kasen's ability to stay up after getting knocked down. Uh, I used, um, Iku's ability to increase attack, but it was it was largely Aya and Yugi with everybody else's backup. So anyway, I think we'll call this an episode here. Um, so I'll actually get back onto schedule, and we'll try to do like I don't know two or three bosses per episode from here on out, and maybe a little bit of poking around, seeing if there's anything to explore. Um, we're gonna be breaking out those. Um, those rocks, a couple at a t one or a couple at a time. So anyway, uh, and of course I'll, you know, we'll, we'll be grinding a bunch uh, at some point, but not yet. Anyway, we're gonna call this an episode here. Uh, so just wanted to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and uh, I hope to see you later. Okay, real quick, we got an achievement, and then we'll call it. Defeat one enhanced boss. Okay, so far so good. I guess... Probably we've got these ones, like one, three, six, nine, I don't know, something like that. Who knows? Um, okay, so now we'll call it episode. So, uh, yep, see you later.